All right, man, we back. Motor C Sports Talk. We in the building. Appreciate everybody for tapping in. Make sure that subscribe button. And the Milwaukee Bucks have waved goodbye to veteran point guard out of Ui Pui, George Hill. Now, George Hill had was a bright spot for the Bucks and some spots this playoff season. He looked good. You know, had Shannon Sharp asking, why couldn't George Hill do this for LeBron in the finals? Or, yeah, in the finals or in the Eastern Conference finals as well. Um, now, two seasons ago. But um, I think he may be within the Pistons' budget. They may re-sign him. So if he wants to be on a championship uh, caliber team or he care more about um, winning than that bread, then he could go back in Milwaukee. I think he was an excellent fit with Giannis. He was hitting his outside shots. He was driving to the bucket. He was a force at times, man. And the Pistons, I think he would be a good fit. He could play with Reggie as well, too, if Luke Kennard is injured or, or they just lacked, you know, wings or – Whatever, he can play at the point guard. He can guard ones. He can guard some twos. Reggie's big enough to guard two. So, and he can shoot. He fit the bill. He a 3 and D type point guard. Now, he ain't the playmaking point guard the Pistons may necessarily need. But George Hill is a good fit. Now, I'm not saying he is, uh, you know, Russell Westbrook or Steph Curry or nothing like that. But I like him better than Seth Curry. He a proven D, 3 and D guy. He played in the finals. He played some big games. And I think he might be within... The uh, Detroit Pistons budget, and I like I always like George uh, George Hill coming out of Uyi Pui, man. Um, just a real strong guard. Remember, he was traded for Kawhi Leonard from Indiana. I mean, from San Antonio, to Indiana, and that was one of the great uh, draft day steals of all time. So, um, I think it'd be a good look for the Pistons to try to bring in jo- uh, George Hill in here if they're trying to right the ship. And what they should be doing is they should be trying to be sellers. And strip that salary cap down, be bad, and get some of this talent that's going to come out in the draft in the next few years. They should have been in position to draft Zion this year, even though he probably would have got like a fifth pick. And I understand Pist- the Pistons uh, conspiracy theorists, um, Haps, Wears, who say, oh, the Pistons will never get the number one pick. I don't think it has happened in our history. And I have to agree, man. I can't, I can't lie. I can't, you know, fight history. The NBA never gave the Pistons the number one pick. The where we got Isaiah... He was number two, and Mike McGuire was number one. Yeah, Mike McGuire eventually got traded from Dallas, where he was a terror, and came over to to Detroit for in the Adrian Dantley trade for my older Pistons uh, guy. So we had the number one and two pick on the on the team at the same time. And uh, but I can't argue with that. But that's just how you got to try to acquire talent. And then when we in position to acquire talent, we take Darko. You know, we in position to to get you know a Devin Booker, who is basically a home product. His father was in the NBA. From Grand Rapids, we pass on him and get Stanley and don't do our due diligence. When we in position to get C.J. McCullough, who did suffer an injury, I think, um, at Lehigh, but he had tore up the uh, the Duke Blue Devils. We passed up on him, passed up on Young. We just seem not to take the the proper risks, and that's what scares me about Seiko. We don't never take those proper risks. You know, we ain't really drafted a foreign guy that was been a baller. I think we drafted Memino Core, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you know, but hey. You know, I like George Hill. You know, if you're gonna try to uh you gonna try to fix this with gorilla tape or duct tape, well I think George George Hill is a good duct tape. He a good relief. He can play with Reggie. He can come off the bench, he can start some games, he can defend, and best of all for the Pistons, he can shoot that thing. You don't know what you're gonna get from Brown, Kyrie Thomas, and you damn sure don't know what you're gonna get from Luke Kennard. He just seemed to lack confidence and lack edge. But it ain't no surprise to me in the long list of Duke failures. From Christian Lane there, Bobby Hurley. I mean, Corey McGetty came up a little bit short, no pun intended. I mean, only guys that really lived up to the bill coming out of Duke. If you want to count Kyrie Irving, who was there for a day, uh, Carlos Boozer, if you want to count that, and Elton Brand, who went number one. Elton Brand had a solid career, but and Grant Hill before the injury. Everybody else was either injured or Jason Williams or like that, but Duke has produced some of the most terrible pros of all time. I did a video on my other channel about it, but nobody, everybody seems to ignore that Mike Krzyzewski, uh produces terrible pros. Well, you people in Detroit know shit. Kyle Singler, another terrible one, but that's nor here nor there. Um, but shout out to George Hill. Um, hopefully, he get his money somewhere, or he find happiness wherever, or find what he's looking for in the NBA. But hey, he need to, he want to come to Detroit. We got a spot for him for show sure, for show. Sure. So I think he is a mid level exception type guy. So. We we'll see. I don't know if he categorized championships over money or money over championships right now. But at Mercy Sports Talk, y'all know what it is. We gone.